What's going on everybody? Thanks so much for joining me here today. My name is Jeremy. I'm a motion graphics designer, animator, and 3D hobbyist. This show is an unrehearsed screen recording of my workflow and a peek into my journey to develop a deeper design skill set. Here it's not so much practice makes perfect, but more practice makes progress. This is The Drill. Right, and this week on the drill, I got uh, into Daz 3D um, and with a new plugin that just came out um, by the French Monkey uh, that allows you to use the Genesis 8 model um, with Octane. So um, I'll be linking that below. And with this this um, this week's episode, like I said, I was just really playing around with it um, to see how effective that could be in in making like a, a character concept um, and just just kind of playing around and, and seeing what kind of flexibility you could get with it. So for a good portion of this, I was actually, um, I was trying to get my model to work with Mixamo. I'm still having issues with that by the end of this recording. So um, what I ultimately ended up doing was taking some of the animations out of Daz. Um, I wanted to make this like sunken kind of uh, gaunt looking dude. So um, Daz actually had like a bending over breathing kind of animation. So that's ultimately what I went with. Pardon all the nudity here, but um, Daz, if you haven't played with Daz, Daz um, 3D, they have a, a, a free version that is what I'm using and, and getting us set up here. Um, currently in the Daz market, I don't know, um, as of June 18th, the, there's a free download for the Genesis 8 model, and that's what I'm using uh, with this free plugin as well. So, um, I'll link, like I said, I'll link the, the plugin and um, on there there's a great tutorial on how to install it and then how to actually set up uh, everything so um, you'll know how to use it too. So right here what I'm doing is I'm going through all the ma different maps um, that come default with this model and I'm painting out uh, just using the the um, clone stamp in Photoshop, I'm painting out all the eyebrows. So you can see how his right eyebrow, our, our left side here. Um, there's still a little bit of eyebrow there. It's because the bump, the, the eyebrows are in like various channels. So I'm going through each of those channels and painting those out. Um, you get these uh, interesting looking maps. Um, my fiance actually walked in during this and she was like, what are you doing? So anyway, um, the plugin though, once that's all set up uh, appropriately, there's there's uh, realistic subsurface scattering and um, there's there the skin is set up to have three layers. So you get really realistic looking skin for pr really cheap. Um, you can see here on the, the right ear, I was actually playing with the transmission of, of my model um, and you can see some of the transparency in the ear and the subsurface scatter. I was playing around with different skin colors to try to get this like pale look um, but if I, you know I was going with just a straight straight up kind of you know uh, Caucasian white skin pigmentation you could really see the the really natural looking subsurface scattering built right in from this plugin so um, I don't know how much character work I'll be doing with Daz and, and with this plugin in the future, mostly because I think with the uncanny valley of 3D, I think making a realistic looking human is near impossible. And it's not a challenge that I'm looking at trying to overcome right now. Um, uh, obviously a lot of the stuff I have been working on with this show is, is very abstract and weird, but it's mostly just trying to get a familiarity with Cinema 4D, with Octane, with X Particles, um, so this was a fun exercise. I had a lot of time this weekend to play around with it. So um, that was one of the reasons I was motivated to, to get in there and try something uh, a lot a, a lot different from what I've been doing as far as building a render that might pass as more realistic and less abstract. But I mean, you can see here I defaulted for like these uh, white pupilless eyes and um, just kind of a dramatic like uh, red and blue shading and then ultimately in compositing um, I go with my standard kind of flicker so it, it just kind of adds to that whole atmosphere so I don't know who this dude is but he's uh, you know he's he's breathing hard and looking angry and and um, yeah so it was just like I said it's just kind of a character concept um, it's fun to really play around with the, the coloring and then doing the comping in After Effects to really give it this, uh, I think, an interesting like horror or sci-fi kind of feel. Um, playing around with the the plugin as well is what allowed me to get like the veins kind of like bulging from his uh, 
his forehead and around his eyes so it was really cool i just think that like you know the face itself is pretty dead there's not like there's so much more fidelity to a real face that is not really an avenue i'm looking to tackle right now but i really do recommend this plugin it's awesome it's free and if you have all the tools with daz uh, the genesis 8 model it's it's all free and it's it's all really cool to be able to previs um or even just block out some basic shots for you know a real life uh you know live action shoot or maybe just uh, uh, mood boards or or uh, style frames or something like that so that's all for this week's episode um thanks again for for sub for watching if you are interested please do subscribe we're creeping up to my thousand subscriber goal i'm hoping to get there by august uh, but i would love to get there sooner so that's all for this week's episode you know how youtube works like share subscribe and comment down below you can follow me on instagram and twitch at jeremy underscore walker that's j-r-m-y underscore w-l-k-r you can visit my website for updates or shoot me an email jeremy at jeremywalker.com Thanks once again for watching. It really means a lot to me, and I can't wait to see you all next week on The Drill.